it's Friday. <laughs> um, happy weekend, guys and girls. I still, I'm not sure who watches my videos or not. Um, but thank you. Um, it is Friday, like I said. It's seven thirty-four. Ah, I'm so sleepy. Um, and I wanted to talk to you guys real quick because I got this. My wedding book, which is better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be smaller. Um, has 60 pictures and the quality of it is good, but it's not something super special. I could have gotten that myself from not Vista Print, but Shutterfly. Um, I paid $1,500 on top of my wedding um, package that I got from Lakewood Country Club to have DJ Brothers do not only the DJ service, which I wasn't happy with, and the photography, which I was kind of happy with, um, and the 1500 14 1500 with taxes and all that, was for the video. From my understanding, it was one videographer for six hours and that he would do my ceremony and my reception and that he would be interviewing my friends and family mind you i had 75 guests okay i didn't expect them to film and talk to 75 people but they had six hours and towards the end he even we finished early um because I shut down my party early because of the whole DJ mess. So I wasn't paying attention to the to the videographer much, but I didn't see him that often actively talking to any of the guests. So I was a little worried that I, I wasn't gonna get all the interviews that were important, but I was too busy that day to like micromanage someone and you pay someone and you, they've been doing this for so long that you think that they're gonna give you the best that they can. Um, so I was a little worried about the video and my worries were realized when I saw the video. Um, everything happened just the way I remember it. Like, he interviewed me, he interviewed Ronald, um, he interviewed, who else? My bridesmaids, the groomsmen, Ronald's parents. And that's it. During the ceremony, I I sporadically saw the guy recording, like, you know, the toast, and that's what I remembered him doing the ba the major stuff, the toast, and then turning off the camera and walking away. During the time that there was no event happening while people were eating or while people were getting ready for the next thing, he could have been pulling people to the side and interviewing them. He didn't interview my parents. He didn't interview my sister. He didn't interview my friends. He didn't interview the full bridal party because I had sponsors there. Um, he didn't interview, interview them and then towards the end of the night I had to go run around and find him because I wanted to tell him that you know I'm calling it quit early and you know if he had filmed everyone I asked him specifically did you interview all the guests and my friends yes yes I already did all that okay this was around 9 30 I want to say he was supposed to leave at 10 I think or was it 8 30 and he was supposed to leave at 9 I'm not sure I have to check so the ending was, in my my eyes, I thought it was pretty cheesy and whatever, I did it and come to realize when I'm looking at the videos, somebody passed behind us. So I thought maybe, you know, common sense would be like, let me go ahead and do this over and have nobody like pass through the back, but he didn't. He didn't even let me know somebody passed through the back. He, it was half-assed. Everything, like the videographer, I think it was half-assed because even during the interviews of, of the groomsmen, the florist, Jesus Christ, he will forever be in my video, was passing through the back 
with flowers and I'm like you couldn't have chosen another spot where there was nobody gonna be passing in the background I mean you're at a fucking golf course you could have went anywhere there was trees everywhere there was greenery beautiful backgrounds and you chose a spot where vendors would be passing by it's just it seemed very very amateur for the price that I was paying and for the experience they said that they have it seemed very amateur and so even even the, the video like you would think since it's a DVD it would come in like a DVD box with like a nice custom cover or something personal what he did was printed out a photo of us of the cover that matches my my um, photo book and he didn't even cut it to size to fit the whole CD cover because it was a CD a CD case one of those slim fit jewel cases that he he used he didn't even fit it to that size it you could see the corners like you could see the CD sticking out on the cover so that I think that was a little kind of ghetto for for fifteen hundred dollars and in a jewel case also the DVD didn't have like a DVD cover on the top of it it just had I could see it was a, a low grade it wasn't even a name brand DVD-R that he used to burn the video on it it was like some unknown brand that I don't know so it's like I know that he did the lowest of the low <laughs> when it came to my, my video so I just think that's kind of unprofessional even at home when I make videos because I've made videos for people I chapter it out I try to do my best with the quality of the sound and everything and I go out of my way to buy the DVD case that actually goes to the DVDs and I make a custom cover and I print it out it doesn't take that long to try to make it personal especially if somebody's paying you to give professional results so it's pretty clear that I'm not happy with my video and I think a better job could have been done but it's it's over with and now I have no good memories of like my friends being there and speaking to me or wishing me luck or giving me advice or I was looking forward to seeing that I don't have my parents you know on video I just I'm disappointed I'm disappointed and at this point what can I do now my advice to all of you is never pay with a check never pay with a check because when you pay with a check you're rendering your 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 money and that's it it's gone there is no way that you can get it back unless you want to go to court or and all that and it's just gonna cost you more than what it is what I paid so that money is lost um, whether the vendor is gonna try and salvage this I don't think so I have been holding off on writing a, a review on this service because I only had the the video and no I'm sorry I only had the pictures and the um, what is it the pictures and the uh, well that's it that's all I had so far and the DJ service to go off of and I was unhappy with that so um, I wanted to wait until I got my video and I was trying to give them the benefit of the doubt so I didn't want to write a, a review but in the back of my mind I already know it's gonna be shit so um, I'm gonna be writing a review and all the wedding sites and stuff about them uh, yeah so this is the end this is the last part of my wedding that I was waiting for and what today is October 24th um, yeah, October 24th, and the video was shot in August, on August 16th, so August, September, October. So it wasn't that bad of a wait time. Um, I guess it's pretty okay. I've heard people get, like, way longer wait times, so. Plus, I guess, maybe because they didn't know what else to put in the video, because it was at best maybe an hour long i think the video is about an hour long that's how much footage they had an hour long and they filmed for six hours they filmed for six hours and i got back or they 
filmed for six hours and I got back an hour uh, of footage. Did they have room to interview every guest? They probably did. Um, but like I said, during the ceremony, I lost track of where, I wasn't keeping track of where everyone was. I didn't think I had to do that. But when, towards the end, I, I had to go and find this videographer somewhere. And he was outside somewhere just smoking. Um, and I'm like, yeah, we're ready to, you know, are you finished? We're gonna be, you know, stopping the party soon. And he's like, yeah, I got everything that I needed. I already interviewed everyone. Um, I just need to do your closing words. I'm like, oh, okay. Wow, great. Yeah, he didn't film anybody. So, meh, whatever. I'm gonna send an email before I write my review to DJ Brothers. And I am going to give him a chance to not apologize because I don't even expect that but it, and and to be honest when I complained about the DJ services he he didn't offer me any type of discount or anything like that he offered me more pictures in my picture book so I know for a fact he's not going to try and say hey I'm sorry I messed up let me compensate you with like a couple of hundred or not even hundred like some money back doubt he's gonna say that um He's probably gonna say, do you want extra photos? <laughs> or something to make you happy, and I'm gonna be like, go suck a dick. Um, and yeah, that's how that's gonna go. Um, but yeah, what can you do? Don't use DJ Brothers.